Budaka, Kibuku and Namutumba districts in eastern Uganda are reportedly registering an increase in the number of patients suffering from malaria. The health officials say at least five children die every day due to malaria caused by the female anopheles mosquito. Code like two, three, four in a week at our facilities. But in the communities, the number is more than that. Like how many? Mm, like maybe six on a daily basis in the entire district. Those are community reports we receive that a child has done, died here, a child has done here. So that number is too big. I'm worried that again the cases of severe malaria are going to increase. This state of affairs has forced government to take a radical position to implement the indoor residual spraying of households and waterlogged swamps in order to deal with the problem. The Public Health Act that has just been signed, it gives us power to go and actually do the, those activities. What we don't believe is to go forcefully into the house and spray, but simply go any household that welcomes you, please go in and spray and kill the mosquitoes. Yes, we shall defend if they take it to court. It is treasonable. It is actually you are responsible for killing people. When you say no, you are condemning all those children to die. When government attempted to deal with the malaria menace in February this year, some local leaders opposed the idea, claiming that the chemicals used were not effective in killing the mosquito and the lava. Our issue is one, we only told the people of IRS to sensitize our people before they spray. It's not that we are refusing. Why can't they come and sensitize the people and make them aware of this program? It's us who are used even to support them. You ask them how many times have IRS been in Kibuku. This is the eighth year. But now they are, they are in the hospital with children who are sick all the time because of malaria. You have heard the statistics from the DHO. More than half of the population that comes sick in a hospital, in our facilities, have malaria. The myth and the beliefs has affected our performance because people think this is a strange disease, so we need to do a lot of, a lot of health education. Dr. Twine assured the locals that the chemicals used are safe and there was no intention by government to kill its own people. I want you to learn to start trusting government. You will, we want to see how our people start trusting science. Government plans and puts money and lobbies, even partners where they are not able to, to get money so that we buy things that save lives not killing okay look at all these eggs just in one source okay so so what we are talking about is science it is not witchcraft we despite the government efforts to deal with the problem some leaders are insisting that the lack of malaria drugs in health facilities should also be dealt with and we request if also we upgrade the health center threes especially magada ivukula also be upgraded to the center for we know that one also will help.